Hey, hello everybody. It's Dr. Cam Ewan, Dr. Chiropractic. And um, I've been reading um, about leukemia um, because that's in the news and um, I just want to make my input uh, to the news that uh, so when people have symptoms that um, they associate with leukemia, you should look at the symptoms because you feel the symptom that actually led to the problem and not leukemia give them the problem, right? So when people feel weak and sure, you could be weak even without leukemia, right? And feeling tired, well, that's same as uh, being weak. So these are the symptoms that that's given for leukemia, like dizziness. So you can have dizziness and, and trouble breathing or shortness of breath, well, those are common things, right? So, and of course, we have fever and reoccurring infection, and you get bruising and, and bleeding. You, you want to make all those symptoms to be evenly um, have an evenness there that that not gonna pull you to be so many different directions. If you make everything even, then you go to um, process which come up um, as the weakest first. So um, these are the symptoms that actually lead to having problems in the blood cells. Right? It's not the problem in the blood cell give you these uh, symptoms, okay? So you want to uh, resolve these symptoms, like dizziness. Uh, well, that's not number one, right? For the general population, dizziness is not number one, right? So in the list of symptoms that that's presented in the um, on the internet. Um, I would say fever and uh, reoccurring infection seem to be number one in comparison to the other um, symptoms that's been listed. But we already make all the symptoms are even. But we go back to um, process it, which is the weakest before you make it even. So. Fever and recurrent infection. Um, well, that's two things going on, right? So most people think that you have infection. That's why you have fever. Well, you have fever is because your body's thermostat is out of whack, right? It doesn't know how to regulate itself, and so you want to um, ensure that uh, the body temperature could be regulated. Uh, regulated by your thermostat, your internal therm thermostat. Well, you can regulate it from the external thermostat or, or the places you live in. So, so look at the fever. So, when a person has um, unregulated body temperature, then it will actually lead to uh, infection. It's not an infection, go and uh, produce the fever. So if you look at fever just kind of uh, generate and lead to infection because fever causes stagnation when you have a well we shouldn't even use the word fever we just look at the temperature being higher than normal when the temperature is higher than normal then there will be stagnation of a body fluid including your blood and your lymphatic. So when there's a stagnation, you have infection, right? Infection doesn't lead to fever, fever uh, or high temperature. As I said, don't even use the word fever for having high temperature, internal high temperature. You can actually even out the temperature very easily. So once you even that out, then then it will not affect the blood cells, right? So. Um, it's not like the blood cell problem of leukemia caused the fever and a reoccurring infection, okay? So, that's one thing, right? Of course, this is not totally in depth, but I just want to get started somewhere, okay? Now, difficult breathing shortens your breath. Well, I have some of that myself, right? So, <laughs> that's common. Uh, when we get older, we're out of sync uh, within ourselves. And it's actually um, make it difficult to breathe and, and, and have shortness of breath, especially when you 
uh, doing some exertion, right? Or go out and run and sprint. And you will find yourself not, or even walking, right? You find yourself not as good as in breathing than when you were in your 20s and 30s or 40s, right? So, but uh, it has nothing to do with, uh, again, with leukemia. It has nothing to do with your respiratory system either. So most people think you have difficulty breathing, the shortness of breath, you have some kind of respiratory problem, but you really don't, all right? So you want to ensure that every aspect of your body are even with each other, like your arms and torso, your head, your neck, and, uh, and legs are, are even with each other. If they're out of sync with each other, uh, you will have difficulty breathing. So, and if you want to um, improve your breathing right away, y- you will ensure that um, you have this strong uh, even as or integration of your body structure and then you want to integrate your body systems and the t- organs or systems and organs and and cells and and even molecules and atoms and quantum particles of your body that have to be strong for you when you do that you act actually able to breathe a lot better right there on the spot right so so I rest my case right so that could be done, right? So, I'm just going to talk about fever and recurrent infi- uh, infection today, and also trouble breathing and shortness of breath. So, I would talk about the other symptoms that you could actually resolve those symptoms that doesn't lead to having um, abnormal uh, blood cells. Okay, you could actually make the blood cells function as normal as they ought to be, and it's not like uh, having treatments and all that. If you choose to have treatment, that's fine, right? I'm not discouraging anyone from having treatment. So by doing this uh, approach, you support the treatment. So the treatment will work for you instead of it might do damage to you, it might even kill you in the process. So I, I know of people or hear of people as well that people kind of die very uh, prematurely with leukemia and it doesn't have to be okay so the treatment itself you want to be strong to the treatment otherwise the treatment would be um, counterproductive and, and the treatment actually weakens the person even more so so there's a lot to say about it but it's all just natural thing it's not just saying it's really finding with your insight, which direction that you're going to resolve it. I'm just directly resolving your own situation that uh, leukemia will not have any problems for you. So, or someone else that have leukemia, and uh, you can make improvement in them also, family members. Okay, so thank you so much for for listening, and um, I, I would continue to to process this, and and not. I'm not asking any donation. I'm not asking that you give me a bunch of money or or donate to the cause here. Okay, so so let's keep it at that. So thank you so much. Everybody, if you are listening to my podcast, um, they are now all on iTunes. So leave me a, a review uh, so I could do better and better in meeting your wellness needs.